Hello again and welcome back. You've done the hard part by adding your load information and creating a trip. Now it's time to invoice your customer and get paid for your hard work. In a moment, you'll see just how easy it is to send invoices and track those payments through your trucking office dashboard. But first, we'll show you how to create one with just a few clicks. Let's get started. Once you've added a load and assigned it to a trip, the load information will automatically populate on the loads page. From the loads page, you can easily see the loads that have already been invoiced by looking here. Loads that have not been invoiced will remain editable, as noted here. Clicking the View button for any of your loads will bring you to the Load Detail screen. From this screen, you can still make any necessary edits. Or if you're ready, you can create an invoice. If you're viewing a load that has already been invoiced, the invoice number will appear in place of the Create Invoice option. Once you click to create a new invoice, you'll be taken directly into the invoice system. Now you're working on the invoice itself. An invoice number will be auto-generated, or you can also enter a custom invoice number if you'd like to use one that's already been generated by a customer or broker. Then you'll want to identify which loads you need to include on this invoice by clicking the appropriate boxes. For Trucking Office Pro users, an Advanced Remit 2 feature is offered here that allows you to easily include any remit payment information on the invoice. If you're working with a new invoice factoring company, or if you're utilizing the Remit 2 feature for the first time, you'll need to create a Remit 2 in the same way you created a customer in the load planner and a driver for the Trips Create page. If you have no Remit 2 information, simply leave this blank. If you'd like to show all pickup and delivery locations associated with the selected loads, check the box to add shippers and consignees. If this box is left unchecked, only the first starting point and the last ending point will show on the invoice. Now, all that's left to do is to create the invoice. After creating the invoice, you'll be directed to a summary page that will confirm your success and provide details. Here is where you'll access the basic PDF copy of your invoice. In addition to the basic copy, Trucking Office Pro users will also have access to a detailed PDF to help meet the invoicing needs of any situation or customer. You can then easily send your invoice via email right from this screen. All you have to do is select the recipient, any additional necessary attachments, and the PDF format. Then type a quick message and send. If your customer's email address doesn't show up in the recipient list, you'll simply need to add it into your address book by selecting Addresses from the Settings tab and editing the customer you need. Once payment of your invoice is received, you'll enter it here. The amount will automatically default to the full amount of the invoice, but this is editable for situations when multiple payments will be received. You can also add an expense category or factoring fee, if there is any. When you're ready, add the payment. The balance information and payment history will be updated and displayed here. To easily track this payment, along with all of your other payments and invoices, a comprehensive view can be found here on the Invoices page. The Invoices page is a complete list of all invoices that have been created. And from this page, you can easily see which invoices have been paid and which ones are still open. It's important to note that some invoice information can still be edited until payment is entered in full. Information such as invoice number, date, and remit to can still be changed at this point. But if any other load information, such as amount or customer, needs to change, the invoice would need to be deleted. After payment is entered, however, no invoice information can be edited. This page offers another way to create an invoice. The Add an Invoice option here provides a full list of customers and the number of loads they have that have not been invoiced. By clicking Create Invoice, you'll be taken back into the invoice system, where you'll create an invoice for that load. Back on the Invoices page, if at any point you need some assistance or a reference to any of the following steps, a comprehensive user guide is available here, which provides a thorough breakdown of how to create an invoice. Congratulations! 
you've just successfully created, sent, and processed payment of an invoice. Well done!